welcome back to another episode of the Seattle Stitcher. My name is Megan. You can find me on Instagram as the Seattle Stitcher, on Ravelry as Mama Made VM. You can email me at theseattlestitcher at gmail.com if you have any questions. This is actually going to be a FlossTube Extra where I'm going to do a flip through of a ton of magazines and books and <laughs> pamphlets. My aunt gifted me a entire box. Like This isn't even all of it. But she gifted me an entire box of patterns on Thanksgiving, and I've been meaning to do some flip-throughs because I thought some of these are probably pretty easily to available if you look on Etsy and eBay, etc., and just like reselling groups. So I thought it'd be fun to do some flip-throughs. Um, no order. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Very little editing involved. I'm pretty much just going to film until Malachi wakes up, so hopefully we can get through a good chunk of them. Okay, so book number one is one that I am keeping because I love it so much. I'm going to bring these to some of my girlfriends and let them go through and see if they want anything, but this is one of the few things that I'm like, okay, I have to keep it. I'm not much of a Christmas stitcher, but at the end of the day, I really would love to have some more Christmas items. So I think in the future, this is one that I'm definitely going to want to stitch pretty much everything out of. This is called Timeless Ornaments by Leisure Arts. I'm honestly not sure the year for this one, but I also love that it's in Little Rock. I had no idea this was an Arkansas company, but give me a table of contents. So here first you have heartfelt messages, which I think these are super cute. They'd be cute ornaments or like little greeting cards. Some really cute little angels. This is where I'm like sold. I'm so genius. <laughs> this was the night before Christmas, the entire storyline, but in cross stitch. They are so cute. I love this reindeer one. I think that's so cute. And the Santa here. Oh, I just love it. This is really pretty too. Kind of some traditional Christmas plants. Yeah, Christmas perennials. This one I thought was really cool. It gave me the same vibes as some um, Carolyn Mannings. Love this. Little elves. And look at the little, <laughs> the little mushroom. And stitching that and adding the beads. Love. I love him with the little trumpet. Love all these. Looks like these are stitch on perforated paper. You could totally add beads to these too. That'd be so cute. I actually love this. I like the style of this stitching. It looks like it's really full. Almost like it's a uh, wool maybe. These are so cute. <laughs> I think if I ever do Elf on the Shelf, which I haven't done yet with my kids, I'll probably stitch something like this to sit with Elf because I thought that looks so, just kind of like that childlike appearance is really cute. But this, I feel like Katie over at Red Stitchery needs this. <laughs> so again, this is Leisure Arts Timeless Ornaments. You have to go find this. How freaking cute is that? I think if I ever stitched him, I would just honestly stitch the Santa suit. Um, that is adorable. I absolutely love it. Some pretty little kind of small samplers. Really like this. It's very reminiscent of stuff you'd find today that's being designed. Same with that. Simple, but love it. Love him. That is a beautiful Santa. And I love that it's white. It just seems very gentle. I particularly love this little ornament here. I just really like that. I think I'd frame it in a tiny little frame. Amazon, if you guys are curious, does sell little small, like, three-inch frames. Perfect. Angels, little Victorian angels, if you're into that sort of thing. Some snowmen. Not the biggest fan of these snowmen, to be honest. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's the the noses. <laughs> these are called Frosty Friends. This is a nativity scene, so you have all of the ornaments. Uh, it looks like on perforated paper as well, so that's pretty cool. And look at there. As little standing. How cute. Love these. I like these because they're simple and they would be good Christmas ornaments, but look at these Santas. 
Look at those beards. They're so good. That's so much white stitching though. Can you imagine this entire foot? Oof. <laughs> this is pretty cute. Noah's animals. Be cute in a kid's room. Love. I love him. I love his little belly. I love his little overalls. I love him with his little tiny hammer. He's adorable. <laughs> this is called Santa's Toyland. Here's some more. I like the little jester here. Super cute. And then I thought this was cute too because it kind of looks like the, the other little pillows from the series that was the night before Christmas. And then these are adorable. Look at them. Imagine if you stitched these with um, whisper thread. Oh, they're so cute. I really want to stitch one um, in a soft like white onesie and then one in maybe a pink or like one in a soft blue and one in a soft pink and put my kid's name and birth date on them for the tree. So that is on my, my wish list. I think I will make this one Malachi or this one and then probably like this one or this one Amira. She's pretty crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are adorable. And the rest is just charts. Really love this book. So this was definitely a keep for me. Um, next one is a magazine. It's blocking off the address on there. Looks like some advertisements. Again, reminds me of Katie. <laughs> I'm not going to be blocking the pattern pages, so bear with me. That is pretty cute. I like the lights. Ooh, the Snow Owl is pretty as well. That's cute. I, I do like that. It's kind of funny to go from Christmas to grilling. <laughs> Very pretty little prayer. This is wine. Like a little vineyard. That's pretty. I don't know if I'd stitch that. I don't drink wine, so not a big fan. This is really cute too. Stitch together. It's like a pattern that you're supposed to stitch with a friend. I love the colors. And I like these two ladies. Very cute. This is a orchid situation. That's pretty. Some Christmas stuff. This is, I don't know if that's supposed to be a bear or a bunny. I'm thinking a bunny. I like that it's on perforated paper. It reminds me a lot of like the Mill Hill kits. That's cute. It'd be cute for a kid, like if you're learning, but the beads would be hard, I assume. It's raining, cats and dogs. That's a funny one. <laughs> Good size charts in the magazine too. Patriotic Picnic. This must be from the early 2000s. I noticed that a lot of, a lot of magazines that are like 2000, 2005 in that range are more patriotic. Just some more American flags. A little kind of American themed house for the summer. A little patriotic pillow. That would be a lot of stitching. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an Uncle Sam. Oh, here's a little like blanket, but you could totally just take one of the blocks and stitch it. That's cute. Tea, honey, that's cute. And it looks like that is the end of this magazine. This was Cross Stitcher Christmas Ornaments. Contest winner, 21 charts, 17 sizzling projects, Christmas stocking. That's a Joan Elliott. No wonder. She has a very distinct style. This is the August 2003, the Cross Stitcher magazine. If anyone's interested. Okay, next one is the Cross Stitcher, and this is 1993. <laughs> so, a bit older. This one I'm debating because I kind of want to keep it for this pattern. Um, I don't think I would add this little tower in the background, but I love, I love this guy. I think it's so cute. Really pretty little orchid, or sorry, uh, Christmas perennial, what are they called? Poinsettias. 
Oh, cool. So you actually do get that pattern. I do like this. It's for an afghan, but I would just stitch it small on a 40 count with some overdies. Beautiful. Little apples for a stocking. Cute. A lot of block stitching there. Not much color change. Little tiny Santas. Looks like for some placemats here. That's cute. The little Christmas tree. Oh, I do like this. This is very pretty. Merry Christmas wreath. Yeah, that's pretty. I think I'd add maybe a little bit of a less yellow and add some gold thread or something into the bow there. A little Christmas quilt. That's cute. This is the Happy Holidays is what it's called. Oh, so this is the December 1992 edition of the Cross Stitcher. Very cute. Looks like on perforated paper it would be easy. A little kid's bonnet or bib. That's cute. Wee fool. <laughs> that is adorable. I feel like my friend Cam would like that. Looks like maybe napkin and things more. Oh, I should do that for my daughter. My daughter would love that. These are all really cute. Lord, give me wisdom to direct my ways. Little birds. That'd be really easy to change your colors and kind of do your own thing. Very pretty. A wreath. That's fun. The, the bow is different. Your little bunnies bib. Some of these little cups. Just super simple backstitched. Oh, it's for kids. That's cute. I like that. That's fun. Creative clutter is better than idle neatness. <laughs> that is really funny. That bit, I feel like would pop on a, like a black fabric. Maybe it could help with some shading, but it's really fun. Oh, I like both of these. Those are cute. Oh my gosh, they look kind of vintage and I just like that. So poinsettia December, mums November. I love mums, big fan. So I like both of these a lot. I love the, the font. It reminds me of like a baseball jersey or something. Good charts too, good size. That's cute. Little stocking they made, adorable. Super simple little tree that's like stitch in a day. Cute little wine bottle happy new year sort of thing so yeah just cross stitcher 1992 next one this is january february 1989 cross stitch look at that cover that's a good one i want that <laughs> I, I think the border is almost too nautical for me but i would totally stitch the ship and the the whale here it's weird the water's green. Does anyone know why the water would be green? Let me know if you do. Okay, go bless this home chart. Some more little small charts here. Looks like maybe greeting cards on perforated paper. This is very 80s. Actually, I like the wheat here. It's pretty cute. A little kind of quilt block sort of situation. Okay, so we we went straight into the, the chart for the cover photo. And then there's a random chicken. <laughs> or no, sorry, this is hens. Yeah, nesting hens. <laughs> Victorian splendor, that's really pretty. The flowers, though, it's funny to me because these read very 80s, specifically this red flower here. Little teddy bears. Cute. Oh, actually, I really like this one. Apples and spice. Do you guys... That's really cute. That's funny. The little one here. It's a little, like, satchels. A floba. I'm assuming that's a kind of bird, because it looks like this. <laughs> that's actually a cool chart. It's very autumnal, in my opinion, but it is very pretty. I do like that, actually. And it's a small chart. You can see, pretty small. These are cute. You hang them and you put little, you know, little gifts in there, little sweets and stuff. Yeah, so that's it. It's funny, the cover image, they don't say anything about it. It's just literally a random pattern in the middle of the book. Um, then there's just this one. 
Silver Creek Samplers, When Life is Done. Love this. We'll stick to this. This is a flower book, The Ultimate Flower Book, American School of Needlework. I'm going to guess 80s, 90s, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a date. Anyway. Oh, okay. Looks like in the middle there's the actual pictures, so I'll just flip to there. That's pretty. I like the poppies. That's cute. Like that, the sunflowers. I really like these. They look like little seed bags. Love that. Those are pretty. And then just some borders. I'm not sure what all is missing because there's only a couple pages of pattern photos, but it looks like there's a lot more in here. Oh yeah. There's like the flowers for the months. There's these kind of seed bag looking style ones. That's very pretty. Yeah, I like a lot of this. Some borders. Oh, a thistle. I like that. I love a thistle plant. I'd be curious to see what that one looks like. Yeah, lots of pretty ones. I feel like this could benefit as well. Like I said, over dyed and stitched on, you know, maybe a finer count to make them look a little less blocky. 2011 cross stitch, just cross stitch ornaments. Okay, I like the way they lay this one out. So I like a lot of these charts. <laughs> Love them. Love the beard. So cute. I like this. I probably wouldn't even do the border. I would just stitch the little and frame, or not frame it, but make a little heart pillow. Super cute. Kind of going over all the charts in between. I love all of these. Every single one. <laughs> Love that, love this. I don't think I would do that one, but love that, love this. That's a Plum Street. I like this one too. That's a old colonial designs. Love it. The first one here is a Jeanette Douglas. I like that. Very cute here. So it looks like they kind of group them together by theme. I like this one, number six, which is a blue ribbon. Never heard of them, but do love that. This, I think I would swap out the green for a red, like a variegated red floss. Could you guys see that? I think that's pretty. Little House Needleworks. Oh, I love Little House Needleworks. Very cute. Here's the next. This is really pretty. Some fun little ones. Oh, there's a cat under there. That's cute. Those are charts. Blue Christmas. That's cute. <laughs> Mosey and Me. That's a designer. Very cute. Love these. That's it's so crazy and cute. I love it. That's fun with the beads. That's really pretty. I love this one. This one I do want to keep because I want this ornament. It's a little pillow by uh, Blackbird. I love that. Yeah, super cute. Love this one. Definitely want to stitch that. I like the butterfly too. That's pretty. Who's that one by? My Big Toe Designs. I feel like I've heard of them, but I don't know if I've ever seen a chart actually. That's cute. The Jolly here. That's cute. This is cute. Country Cottage Needleworks. Oh yeah. It's funny how sometimes it doesn't matter how old this is. Like this design, you look at it and you're like, okay, that makes sense for that designer. <laughs> this I love. I don't know how they have it stitched. Maybe this is a tart pan, but I love that little. That is so cute. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's a little squirrel. I really like that. And the needle book, too. It's like a Christmas stories needle book. I think that might be all the charts in here. I don't want to show the charts if I can avoid it. But <laughs> yeah, it looks like the rest is all advertisements. And then it kind of goes over some more pictures of the ornaments. Yeah, that's really fun. 
it's not it's the 2011 issue this is cross stitch collection I'm trying to see what year it is hmm. okay i'm not sure 2001 maybe <laughs> um we'll go 2001 cross stitch collection these ones i think because i looked through myself i think these might be um an english book like a book you can get in the uk i do like this i think that's cute the little christmas carolers good charts lots of um like pictures and stories and stuff which i thought was cute little small designs little angels are cute little placemat napkins christmas wishes again just a uh, little stories i don't know really cute it's like things that they're asking for little bell pole that's really cute i like that snowman see that's a good snowman <laughs> little greeting cards or christmas cards Madonna and baby Jesus. I will say, not the best face. <laughs> That's okay. It's 2011. It's pretty. Silent Night. Good colors. The purples. Kind of a snowflakes in Winterland. Our home to your home. Kind of a card situation. Santa socks for goodies. Kind of an old, old school Santa. The reindeer looks mean, though. I don't know. <laughs> I do like this, the charting of the letters. This is really cute. I do like that. And I think the rest is just advertisements. That's one thing I noticed about this magazine was it's very few charts and a lot of, like, articles and <laughs> kind of, like, random bits and bobs. So, just depends on what you like in a magazine, I guess. The next one on Cross Stitch Gold. Don't know what year this is. It does say printed in the UK. It's issue 12, if that helps, but we'll see. Family tree. Cute. Good charts. Very clear. Sweet fragrance. I think you can still get this as a PDF if you're interested. By Cooler Designs. Again, lots of advertisements. I do like this because Sleeping Beauty was my favorite when I was a kid. You can still get this as a PDF from Cooler Designs as well. I thought this one was cute. I don't know if this one is available or not. I didn't look. Antique Shop. I think I would myself darken up some of these colors. Like I'd make the antiques a little bit darker. I'd make the bricks more brick red. Um, the quilt here that's hanging, I'd kind of make it more classic quilt colors. I think I would just like enhance everything and probably use some overdyes in the wooden furniture and stuff. And I think it would really amplify the piece and make it look really cool. Really good chart on that one. These are cute, kind of little stocking toppers. Be good if you don't have time to stitch an entire stocking. More Christmas cards. I like the little reindeer. That's cute. I like the little cardinal. Some flowers. These are very Joan Elliott. Uh, you can just tell. <laughs> Super cute. Very, very early 2000s. So I'm assuming this book has to be from then. Some alphabets. And that's everything. So issue 12 of Cross Stitch Gold. I'm trying to pick one, random ones. I think we need this one next. Because I thought this was fun. This Mary Eaglebright? Eaglebright? Not sure. This is Cross Stitch Christmas, Better Homes and Gardens. I am not sure what year this one is. 2002. There we go. Lots of ads. <laughs> Cry neck. Oh, man. 
Little snow village. Okay, that's cute. Adorable. It's like a mommy, daddy, and a baby. Cute, cute. Gardener's Delight. This stocking, I feel like my friend Cam is stitching one of these. And I think... Oh, what's her channel? One of my friends that I watch. She lives in California. She's originally from the Pacific Northwest. I'm going to have to link her down below or something. Because she's stitching something like this as well. She actually just finished it. That's pretty cute. A little greeting card with the like a garden shed sort of situation. <laughs> That's cute. Really love this actually. That's adorable. Santa and the little girl. Oh, good chart. So cute. A little holy night scene. A little bell pull. Kind of some small charts. Oh, I love that. That's cute. I wonder who that's designed by. Donna Heidler? I'm not sure. That is so tiny. Oh my goodness. It's a little reindeer with little snow snowflakes around it. The way they framed it is so funny to me because it's so small, but it, that's really cute. Lots of specialty stitch snowflakes. Love the Santa. This is really pretty. A little Merry Christmas thing here. Cute. Lots of backstitching. <laughs> and then some more patriotic stuff. Because um, if you lived in the early 2000s, you probably understand why there was a lot more patriotic stuff at the time. The early 2000s. Little winter mittens. Little bags. That's cute. Small charts. Kind of some good little gifts. I think that's just adorable. That's cute. Days of Christmas. Adorable. Cute. Yeah, super cute. I wish they had a close-up of the stitching, not necessarily the, the way they, they showed it. Kind of a bunch of small charts here. Little gifts and stuff, you can see. And then I think just the rest is ads. That's pretty. Look at that. Victorian Christmas. Oh, that's so pretty. Gorgeous. I wish I could still get that. <laughs> yeah, just ads. Cross stitch gold. This is... Hmm... 2016 so not that long ago looks like you have first of all stuck together <laughs> cold as ice like an ice fairy with a castle behind her she's pretty i don't stitch fancy ladies but that's pretty could probably add a lot of sparkle and stuff to that and be really gorgeous little stocking kind of very block stitching not very detailed in my opinion but it would be a good, easy ornament. That's pretty. Classic Christmas, a little bell pole. That's very pretty. I like that. I like the white flowers. I like the berries. Yeah. I, I would keep this magazine just for this. It's beautiful. Good chart, too. Lots of block stitching. Again, not super detailed, but I do like that one. Oh, look at that. Winter in a sleigh ride. I do like that. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really pretty. Richard D. Wolf is the designer. Good chart. Obviously, haven't been opened in a while. <laughs> These are really cute. I think it's supposed to be a, maybe a Christmas cookie. I don't know. I like that. This is very much reminds me of like 2016 style. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. And then, oh, there's more. Oh, look at that. This is a Doreen Jones pattern. That is so colorful and fun. Wow. That's a lot of block stitching. That would be a good easy one. And then this, some ads. Little Christmas cat. 
kind of funky. I like the tree. I wish that I wish there was a stitch of that Christmas tree. <laughs> If there's anything else in here. I'm always surprised. I'm like, oh, wow, there's more. Oh, cute. Little Christmas cards. Those are fun. Again, lots of block stitching, but more Doreen Jones, so. A little tiny wreath. That's cute. Hold on. Drawn thread. The haunting. Definitely keeping that. <laughs> I love this. Very Art Deco. The Lord's Prayer. This is a really pretty version of it by Stony Creek. This one, I feel like I have to send this to Katie <laughs> because this design right here. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like she would love this. This is cross stitch and beading. And this is issue number 46. I don't know who released these because it has NZ in Australia and UK. Oh, okay, and there's USA there. So I'm not sure where you could get this. There, It's in from England, I guess. But yeah, this box, I, every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, that reminds me of Katie. Good size charts. butterflies. Very pretty. Very fun. They did the little antenna with like a silver thread. That's pretty. Just different, you know? Oh, it's like stitched on a, a satin fabric. Look at that. Or maybe placed over it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a brooch and a necklace. I'm, I'm just... This is actually wrapping paper. They included wrapping paper. And so you'd pull it out and it's a full-size sheet. So that you could put this inside of a box that has glass over the top. That's funny. The wizard cam. I feel like I need to send that to you. <laughs> that's a good chart. Wow. Very big. Lots of block stitching. Nice. Very King's Golf. That's funny. A little pug. <laughs> little cooks. And that's it. So it's fast, quick, small magazine, but kind of fun. Some stitchy box patterns. That's pretty. This is really pretty. I think this is a stitchy box too. Strawberry fair. I love that. Definitely stitching this. <laughs> I feel like my dad would love this. He loves classic cars. I think most of it is um, charts, so I'm not going to open it because these are the charts that are inside. This is Classic Hot Rods by Counted Cross Stitch, Stony Creek Collection book 337 if you're wanting to get this for someone there's another one cross stitch collection this is hmm which issue <laughs> I have a hard time figuring out the issues it's September 2001 cross stitch collection really thick cover very nice magazine looks like you have a Egyptian stitch of a pharaoh Oh, I love this. Poppy field and meadow. That's very pretty. Imagine with a nice soft blue linen or something. Oh, pretty. Lots of, like, people's finishes here. Little fairy. That's actually Cam the Stitcher. You, you can't quite tell, but that's actually her. Um, she's a rose fairy sitting pretty. Rose fairy sitting pretty. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Look at that. It's a dollhouse. Wow. Wow. Stitch the set, part four in series of four. Oh, so it's a four part series. So I would have only had the fourth, whichever room that is. Looks like it's the top. This 
so you would have to find the other series to get your hands on that one. That's very cute, though. Magical miniatures. Looks like some dollhouse stuff. Seaside fun. Cute. Little tiny charts. Some little um, like card situation. Some cats with a pull-out, like, kind of different paper chart in here. These are kind of funny. <laughs> These cats. A delicate oriental fan. That's cute. Not my style, but it's pretty, you know? This one, again, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in the lady's face. <laughs> I just feel like it, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's very 2001. We'll put it with that. That's pretty. Nautical knots. If you had like a nautical themed room, that would be cute. Or if you know someone who's like a sailor or something, that's cute. And then I'm guessing, oh no, there's more charts. Two little coasters, that's funny. And this is pretty. September, so it's like a little little like mix of berries and flowers and bugs and birds and stuff. Oh, we don't have much longer, guys. Malachi's waking up. <laughs> Looks like the rest is all advertisements, potentially. Let's see. Oh, pretty. Beautiful pattern. Wish that was in here. <laughs> okay, that was everything. So, Cross Stitch Collection 2001. Okay. Let's see. Um, you know what? I was going to go through this one, but Katie over at Red Stitchery, she just went through this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one aside and I'll show you guys this one, which is the Leisure Arts Christmas Trees real quick because Malachi is waking up. So this will be my last one. Quick little flip through. Definitely, definitely love that. Oh, look at these Santas. Look at him. That is a good Santa. That's funny. Cats. <laughs> okay. I think it's my time to go because Malachi is waking up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. These angels are gorgeous. These are really cute and kind of creepy at the same time. Really good Santas. So again, Christmas Tree by Leisure Arts. I don't see what year this is. But if you look up, I'm sure Christmas Trees. Okay, here you go. Christmas Remembered Book 4. Look that up. All right, guys, hope you enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye.